Why hello everyone, Zerishin here and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be making a sugarcane farm in both Bedrock and Java. We'll be seeing the differences each machine has from the other and seeing if we can even do it. Now let's get on with the video. The blocks we'll be using today is sand, sugarcane, water, wood, slime, lanterns, stairs, glass, any kind of leaves, a chest, hopper, redstone, sticky pistons, button, and a door. Now, one of the things I had to keep in mind when I was making this farm is the lag it could produce. We are first building this farm in Bedrock Edition. Bedrock Edition is mostly meant for mobile devices, so therefore, we don't want to create too much lag. Otherwise, if your game is really laggy, that cannot that might not be as much fun to play in. So to do that, this will not be a automatic farm. Neither of them will be. But hopefully this will help reduce the amount of lag that could be in your world. Now, as I'm making this bottom area here, I am putting in a lot of detail. You don't necessarily need to add this much into your bottom room here. I just wanted it to look pretty. You don't have to make it look pretty. It's totally up to you. You don't have to use stairs for this build. You could use vines or ladders. Each of them would work perfectly fine. I just decided to go with stairs. It's up to you whichever block you want to choose though. Now, the reason why I'm putting leaves down is because we're going to be working with sticky pistons and slime blocks. Sticky pistons and slime blocks will take blocks with them, and leaves are one of the few blocks that don't go with them. So, hence why we're using leaf blocks. They won't move with the pistons and the slime blocks, which makes it so that way the farm will function properly. If you're not able to use leaves, I would suggest you use a different kind of block that is not able to be moved by pistons. You could go with obsidian if you want, because obsidian is one of those blocks. Although obsidian is really, really, really hard to get, so I wouldn't necessarily suggest that. The way this farm works is the slime will knock the sugar cane down and I'll push it over to the glass. The glass will then make the sugar cane fall down into the water, then the water will sweep the sugar cane into the hoppers, which then the hoppers will put the sugar cane in the chest.
Okay, now let's add the redstone. And does it work? It works! Sweet! Now let's go test this out in Java! So one of the only things that came up as I was building the farm was the fact that you couldn't go in a straight line with the redstone. So I went with instead a, I guess you could say some sort of arch, or maybe it's a cant. I don't honestly know what it looks like, but we had to make it so that way the redstone came out one, then we can make it a line to head towards the button. And just to double check that it works, I will, if I can get through the door, I will put in the sugar cane. There we go. Oh, come on, let me, mm, there we go. <laughs> and now we can go on ahead and press the button. Sweet! And there we go! Now we have a working sugarcane farm in both Bedrock and Java. And I think they work out pretty well. What do you think? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing. It would really help me out a whole lot. And with that, I shall see you all in the next one. Zerishin, out!